what, what, what's way up ahead in the natural, but I know God's got something in store right around the corner. I, you may not see your miracle manifesting just yet, but you must know that you know that you know that your manifestation of the miracle is right at hand. It's right at the footstep of your Lord. In the name of Jesus, the Lord God said that you just move a little bit in the name of Jesus, but you've got to learn how to stand in your pain. Be unwavering, unmoving. Because when the enemy keeps telling you, that's a lie. Mm. Don't believe that. Yeah, don't, don't think that, you know what, just because you preach the word or read your Bible or love God, that the enemy not talking because the enemy talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, he got that sweet talk. Mm. Man, I wouldn't believe that if I was you. That's for somebody else. That's for somebody more spiritual than you. The devil is a lie. Oh, yeah, the enemy will say all kind of things. He'll try to throw a, a wrench and try to throw you off track. And But the Lord God says, stand in your faith. I'm saying that for somebody who may think, you know what, well, why would God answer me? Why wouldn't he? Amen. Come on now. Did, did you not use your keys? Are you not using? Oh, come on. Did, did they not give you the keys? In the name of Jesus, I gave you the passcode. If you pray anything in my name, that means you're right for relationship. If I'm calling upon the name of Jesus, the Lord God, right relationship. I'm calling upon your name and I'm praying in the name of you. Will I not do it? Yes, Lord. Will I not give it? Yes, Come on now. Yes, you have all those components in. Why are you sitting there and let the enemy whip you? Just take a stand in your faith and just say, I'm not going anywhere. Huh? I'm not believing your lies. As a matter of fact, I'm going to set my face like a flint. I'm not going to receive that in the name of you. Why? Because I'm standing in faith. My faith has me stepped I'm firmly fixed. Mm. I like that about God. Whenever you take a stand for God, you're not wavering in what God promised you. Things may be going back and forth, but you're not. Somebody better get that. You hear what I'm saying? Things that you may be going through may go, be going back and forth, yeah. but you're stepping yeah. back, but you're not wavering. Yes, That's an important nugget you need to hold on to, people of God. When you're standing in faith, no matter what's going on outside your door, no matter what's going on in the government, no matter It's just all over the place. Yes. And you're able to stand. I'm here to tell you you're standing. I didn't tell you every once in a while you mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of you felt that way sometimes. The wind be blowing you like, oh, mess around. You better be glad I got this on right because I, I let that thing <laughs> fly. You know what I'm talking about? What? The winds blow sometimes when you're, like, yes. you're back them like torrential rains and winds are blowing so hard. If it wouldn't be for the Lord God keeping me rooted, you'd have lost everything. And see, if you can see that thing in a natural, like with a natural windstorm, then the Lord God said, that's exactly how it happens in the spirit. Sometimes if we're standing and the winds are blowing so hard, like what winds are blowing? Things are happening to you so fast you can't even count the, you know, think this is happening, that's happening, this happened, that. Oh, and you're like, Lord. And the Lord God said, those are the winds that are coming up against you. But I need you to stand in your faith. I'm about to close this message, but I just wanted to give you a reminder, as the Lord God would have it to be, that he said that I need you to stand in your faith and not in your feelings. I need you to make sure that your source of your faith is in God. And it's not in any other thing. It's not in a person. It's not in the physical thing. It's in God. The one who cannot fail you. Come on, the one who cannot disappoint you. The one who will not ever let you down. Yes, People Lord. of God, there's power in that. I need you to get that if you don't get anything else. There's power whenever you believe in God and stand upon his and believing in what he tells you, that he promised you. He promised. He gave you his word. So tonight I'm asking you to stand in your faith. You're like, well, whatever God has given you, Whatever he's spoken unto you, stand in that faith. Don't, don't be moved by the circumstances. Because there are circumstances that are occurring. There are doors that are closing. And God says, still stand. There are things that are not working in your favor right now. God says, still stand. I want you to know that eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Either it's into the heart of man, the things that God's about to do for you. Somebody better get, I'm going to get all of that. In the name of Jesus. Can you imagine? Your, your, your eyes can't even see it. 
You can't be the The Lord God said, but see, that's going to occur for those who are standing in faith. Those who are saying, Lord God, whatever, I, I'm believing you. I, I'm like a dog with a bone. I'm not letting it go. I'm, I'm, I'm so, so holding on to what you promised me. I don't care what's going on. And I'm, I'm preaching to somebody that's listening, that's saying, Lord God, I'm holding on to this promise. And it's really, you know, everything has been coming up against me. But I'm still holding on. Everything is, I'm telling you, it's almost like it's trying to slip from my grasp. But I'm holding on just a little bit tighter. I encourage you, grasp a hold to God's word and stand in your faith. No matter what comes, no matter what's coming your way, and no matter what's knocking at your door, the Lord God says, stand fast in your faith. But let us, but let us stand in prayer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Come on, let us stand. Let us stand. <laughs> that would be the Lord. Let us stand. Thank you, Lord. Come on, God. Hallelujah. He said, I want to see how quick they jump to their feet. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Lord God. We thank the Lord God for his word. As we're standing on our feet. I'm asking as we, as we pray before we open up the altar. In the name of Jesus. If you took us, if you actually stood, can you go a little further? By bowing your heads. And you go a little further and just lifting up one hand. Just one. Fathers, I come right now in the name of Jesus. I come praying over every individual at the sound of my voice. That, Lord God, as I seal this word, that, Lord God, we are standing in faith. That, Lord God, we're taking you at your word. Father God, that as you minister to every individual at the sound of my voice, and you have spoken confirmation, Lord God, you've given them, Lord God, insight to whatever you have spoken to them, that you're telling them, stand in that. Don't be discouraged and don't be dismayed. Father God, as I seal this word over them, Father God, with all the privileges and rights, Lord God, that you have given unto them, that you've spoken to their heart to say that it's going to come to pass. Every word, every word, not one promise is going to fall to the ground without it being fulfilled. In the name of Jesus. And we said amen. And amen.